Hello! Today I want to show you how to do simple projection mapping using ImageCube, the DMX controlled compact media server. ImageCube does not do interactive or 3D projection mapping, but it can do simple mapping on a budget quite easily. I'm going to be using GIMP2, a free image manipulation app, to create a projection mask to be used as an overlay with ImageCube. For today's demonstration, I've selected this building that I want to project onto, but I only want to project onto the face of the building, not the roof, the front door, or the landscaping. The first thing I need to do is determine the field of the projector. I am using a projector that outputs a 1920 by 1080 field. You will need to make adjustments for other resolutions and aspect ratios. I take a picture that shows the projector's field. It is very important that this photo be taken from the projector's point of view. The goal is to get an outline without any keystoning. The more accurate this photo is, the better the outcome of your mapping. Next, I open this photo in GIMP2 in order to crop and scale the image. I use the Rectangle Selection tool to select the projector's field and I crop the image. Next, I scale the rectangle to exactly 1920 by 1080. You may need to unlock the aspect ratio to do this. The next thing we do is add a transparent layer in order to build the mask. I'm going to use the lasso tool to outline the desired projection area on the building. I can select multiple areas by using the shift key to add selections. Once everything is selected, a little trick now is to press Ctrl-I to invert the selection. Then, I use the Bucket Color tool to fill the areas outside the selection with opaque black. Now, I turn off the photo layer and all I have left is the mask with a transparent area where I want to project. I export this as a PNG file to be used as an overlay in ImageCube. And here's the result on ImageQ. Thanks for watching.